So how can we feed a Venus flytrap? Well, let's find out. All right, so some of you might be wondering, what the heck is this guy talking about? Uh, don't you just, you know, put bugs inside of them or place them outside uh, and they catch their own food? Uh, why would you need to feed a Venus flytrap? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, for most of the time, you don't need to feed them. Um, I stick them outside in the summertime. Actually, they're outside all year round for me. Uh, so they catch plenty of flies. There's even a fly in that one. Um, and they do fine, they grow. But there are some situations where people keep them indoors and they wanna kinda experiment with the refrigerator dormancy, keeping them inside where there's not too many bugs. Or what they do is, you know, maybe in the springtime, like here in Chicago, it's still cold. Um, they only start, you know, having bugs to eat around June, July. Uh, so maybe you want to give them a little boost. Um, so we're going to be doing an artificial feeding method in this video. We're not using any bugs at all. And this is kind of a combination of two methods I've seen. Uh, but none of them really combined these two methods, so I figured I'd do a video on it just to show what I've been doing the past year. Um, and this method isn't useful just for Venus flytraps, I also use this for sundews and butterworts. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about what I do. All right, so the first method that some people use is they just get shrimp pellets or blood worms because this is invertebrates, uh, invertebrate proteins. Uh, and it's very close to the insects that Venus flytraps would naturally eat. So you basically get one of these, you rehydrate it with some distilled water, you make a little ball, uh, you put it in the trap, and there is kind of a trick where you have to keep tapping the trap every few minutes until it seals, so it thinks there's a living insect in there. Or what some people do is they get Max C fertilizer, and I will put a link in the description. Um, I don't have a full-sized container, although at this point in my collection, I probably could have one. I just had these little sample things that I bought that are almost out. Uh, but basically, you get that Max C fertilizer, you mix up maybe a fourth of a teaspoon, up to half a teaspoon in a gallon of water. Um, I personally will go as strong as one teaspoon in a gallon of water and you have this fertilizer solution. It's a seaweed fertilizer, so it's a little bit more gentle than chemical fertilizers. Uh, and you can fill up pitcher plants with this or what people do is they get a spray bottle and they spray the foliage, kind of like a foliar feed for Venus flytraps. What I like to do is I like to combine both of these methods and basically I just rehydrate the shrimp pellets with this fertilizer solution so you get a nice dense nutrient rich uh, ball that you put inside this trap, it closes, it digests it um, and it's pretty much the optimal feeding solution that I like to use. Uh, so that's basically it. What I'm gonna do now is just kind of zoom in and do a demonstration as to how I personally mix this and feed them. Uh, so let's go take a look. All right, so there really isn't much of a magic to this. Uh, what we're gonna do is use the shrimp pellets and basically I just mix it in here and we're gonna, I don't know, maybe feed a couple of these traps today. That's probably too much. Um, but what I do is I grind this up kind of like in a coffee grinder and some of these pellets are still kind of hard, uh, larger pieces, but I kind of like to get a powder going. And then I just use the fertilizer solution that I made, and I kind of just mix this into kind of a dough consistency so we can get a hydrated ball uh, to put inside of the Venus flytrap. And this is still a little bit too wet, so we can add a little bit more of this powder uh, to this. And I'll come back once I have the consistency that I like. Okay, so here we kind of have this paste going with that Max C fertilizer solution uh, and the shrimp pellets. So basically, you get a little piece, kind of whatever will fit inside of the trap. Uh, you can use your fingers to kind of form that into a ball. Um, I usually just kind of put it on the tip of this plant label. And then what you do is you put it inside of a trap and that's going to stimulate it to shut. So now we have that food inside of there, but the important thing is we're going to want to tap on that trap to make it think that there's something alive in there. Now some people say, oh yeah, you can't uh, tap the traps, it's going to, you know, 
um, be a waste of energy. It's going to kill the Venus flytrap if you touch that. Uh, but that's pretty much just a warning. If there's nothing in here and you tap it too much, uh, then it's just going to waste the energy and naturally they kind of die off. Uh, but since there is a meal in here, uh, there's no problem tapping this as long as you don't, you know, rip the trap off, but, you know, just tap it kind of gently. Uh, then it's going to seal, it's going to digest, and it's going to get nutrients used to grow. So, of course, obviously there is no problem doing this. So I just fed it, and I'm going to come back in five minutes, tap it again, and I'm going to wait another five minutes and tap it again, and then kind of show you once the trap has started to close and seal. So let's wait five minutes, and I'll come back. All right, so here we are about 15 to 20 minutes later. Like I said, you put the fish food fertilizer mixture in there, and then you tap the trap every five minutes. And after about 15 to 20 minutes, you're good. It's going to digest that, and it's going to get nutrients from it. So this is what I do occasionally. If you have uh, your Venus fly traps indoors underneath the grow lights, this is useful. Or if there's not as many bugs in the springtime, it's also useful. Uh, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. Uh, hit the subscribe button to be notified when I make a new video, and I'll see you next time.